Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Pitch, and welcome back to some more Old Realms. This is the Warhammer mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, and today I thought it'd be fun to dive in and basically just have a big old battle against the vampire counts, check out some of the new units, and really dive into it. So, this mod has also just received a big old campaign update as well. I'll leave a link to the mod itself and also their Discord down below in the description so you guys, guys can check it out and also kind of maybe find out any install guides that you need to check out so what i'll do is i will go ahead and build my army up and i'll bring it back to you guys when we are ready to slay some vampires okay guys so i've gone ahead and set up the armies over on my side i have some uh, empire armored spearmen i have halberds great swords we actually don't have a shielded infantry uh, besides the armored spear so we also take up some empire swords as well and we have some sterling patrol guardsmen also, I might also stick in some of the more elite units here. Yeah, let's go ahead and stub in, uh, shove in uh, Von Karakberg's personal guard as well. So we have some elite units in there. Uh, we then have a bunch of guns. This is the no update, so adding in a lot more rifle units. And as you can see, we've got Empire Handgunners, Marksmen, Iron Company Troops, Master engineer, Engineers, and also the Iron Striders of No as well. And then finally, for our cavalry, we have some of the Demigriff Knights and the Reich Sky. It's a pretty nice roster. And I will be playing as a Celestial Wizard because goddamn, them robes are fine. Then up against us over on the Vampire side of things, I kind of just gave them a mix of Skeleton Warriors, Grave Guard, and also some Calm Wraiths. Their missile, they have actually quite a few missiles. Some Sylvanian Scouts, not going to really be able to match me, but I wanted to give them a little bit of a missile force. And then finally, the Vampire Count Cavalry is where they're going to shine. Lots of Black Knights, Hex Wraiths, and we also have some of the Blood Dragon Knights as well. So super scary. We're going to be led by a Vampire Lord who, again, will be able to pop out some necromancy and also some other magic as well uh, we're playing one of the uh, cool battle maps which i haven't actually selected yet there's tons of battle maps in here i definitely definitely want to go ahead and pick where is it yeah the sigma statue we will fight under sigma and it will be glorious Okay, so here we go. We are now in the battle. Again, another beautiful battle map. They do such a great job with these. And we have a lot of missiles in this battle. So I'm going to probably want to try and maybe get into a good position. I mean, again, this is not be a bad position whatsoever. And goddamn, look at all them flags as well. Looking so goddamn glorious. I've done a great job with all these banners. Hell yeah, they look awesome. So yeah, actually defending maybe against here would be great. I could even stand up here myself. Maybe take a small contingent of bowmen. Yeah, you can put people up there as well. That is awesome. So yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll probably just kind of defend on this, have our missiles uh, split up into the maybe multiple groups. I'll get another unit of cavalry here so I can stick them all over there. And I'll turn this into an archer line. And maybe just have, I don't know, just like maybe like 30 gunners up here. Uh, and they, yeah, they'll go up in this. Can they, can they reach up here? Uh, not really. Okay, maybe they can't get up here. That would have been really cool if I could. But either way, having a, a little addition of 30 gunners will not be bad whatsoever. We also have another 100 gunners back here. But I guess we'll go even further back. Uh, and just set themselves up here. Can they, like, reach up there? I mean, I guess I could probably... Oh, my God. Yes. I mean, that is going to be so ineffective. But still, very cool. So, actually, I wonder why these guys can't get up there. Is it because they're in loose formation? They're not even in loose formation. Uh, can you guys get into a tighter formation, please? Um, into, like, a shield wall? Yeah, I don't know why they're so loose. But I guess they are just that kind of away. Uh, which is fine. We'll stick our other gunners again. We could probably... Oh, that could be a really cool position up here as well. Um, actually, that's probably a cooler position, right? We'll have our main gun line like here, and then we'll take our, our 30 man and we'll stick them up here. Hell yeah. Okay. And they can kind of just position on that way, but defending from a lot of incoming missiles, uh, which is perfect. We're going to have to probably spread out our infantry line just a tad more now and get them into a nice little shield wall. That way they'll be much more protected. And then we can also stick our cavalry like all on this flank as well. I don't really want to get them stuck into like a, a bad formation. But like there making them hitting into the enemy as they approach. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. And we can probably curb this battle line a little bit more as well. Uh, yeah, something like that would be great. Uh, and then yeah, the missiles probably just go into a loose formation and set up perfectly there. Okay, so I'm a little bit scared about my cavalry getting kind of minced down by the enemy, but it should be fine. As a special wizard, we have access to a ton of magic. We've got Wind Blast, Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, uh, Harmonic Convergence, Ice Blizzard, 
Uh, Comet of Cassandora. That's a lot of my wins of magic. Um, Thunder. Oh my god, we've got so much magic to mess around with, uh, which is really, really cool. So let's take the game down on slow moment. We'll take a little look at some of the uh, units. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So we have some of the Empire footmen right here. A nice little mix of swordsmen, spearmen. Uh, there's going to be some great swords at the back, some Howard Deers at the back. You can see the difference in armors and helmets. A really nice variety of the units. Please don't die, my dude. Please don't die. Uh, yeah, really, really cool stuff right there. Then we have some gunners over here as well. Oh, where's my character going? All the way back there. Is he going to jump off a cliff? Okay, we're going to have to just do this manually because I don't want to jump off a cliff. Now, we have our gunners up here as well. Looking very nice. Tons of big rifles and muskets uh, ready to shoot down on the enemy who are slowly approaching us. Yeah, they are slowly approaching us. Uh, we have a lot more of our gunners here as well. Can't wait for these guys to fire their initial volley. And then all the way over here, we have our cavalry. So we have demigriffs right there looking a beautiful bit. An amazing job with them. Uh, cavalry and other units. The horses could definitely be uh, sized up, though. They look a little bit like ponies, uh, but still, nonetheless, pretty cool. Uh, regardless, uh, yeah, very, very cool. And yeah, the demigriffs just look amazing. They really do. Okay, where are the enemy going to get to us? Uh, we probably should try and split out our cavalry into two divisions. Because that's exactly what the AI has done. And the AI has a very, very scary front line. I might try and run up and like wind blast one of these bad boys with some magic. The magic is really, really good to use. And the guns. Oh my god, look at that bully. Hell yeah. Give him hell. Cavalry reform. Look at the cavalry go. And the guns are just unloading on them. Got many kills yet? Yeah, a few. Okay. What spells do we have again? Oh, there are spells to be so we have a wind blast here. I might see what a wind blast does. Oh no, I got dismounted. Okay, run, run. Oh my god, this is not good. This is not good. God damn it. I can't believe I already died without getting to do any of the fancy, fancy magic. Okay, we're going to have to give this another go uh, right away. Okay, take two. We will ignore that and make sure it doesn't happen again. It has also spawned us on the worst side, which is a little bit more frustrating. But that's fine. We can push up. I say worst side is absolutely fine. It's just not as cool. It's fine, though. We can push up our main formation and not have to worry too much. My cavalry are already on the flanks, causing mayhem. And you can see the two sides raring to clash against one another. And again, we'll probably be a little bit safer here. You can just be patient with this magic. We have infinite winds of magic, which is fine. Uh, I'll get our machine to that nice little tight shield wall. The halberds will help out uh, pretty dramatically when the lines do clash. And yeah, just let the enemy get a little bit closer and closer. I mean, I could even just sit up here as well. This was like some really cool things. It's like I could have rushed here with my warband and like held this position. It would have been super cool. Uh, can we like cast anything from way over here? Probably not, right? I doubt I could cast like a combo. Oh, God. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 chill. We're going to, yeah, just get out of there. And not kill our horse right away. Uh, yeah, I really want to drop down a, a Comet of Cassandora. I have no healing spells, unfortunately. The guns are now unleashing hell on them. The cavalry is coming in. And again, actually kind of picked off quite nicely. Yeah, look at the guns go. Hell yeah. The guns are unloading on them. Yeah, so many strong riflemen. Uh, really, really nice stuff. Uh, okay, can we get like... Uh, so that is our Comet of Cassandora. Can I just like stick it down like, like here? Like I'm just gonna, oh, look at it go! That did some serious damage. Obviously, that is a big Winds of Magic spell, and that is gonna cost us a lot. Uh, we have the Chain Lightning as well. Again, a lot of these spells are also still just like work in progresses. And there you go, you can see that Chain Lightning. Oh no, it's coming towards me. Oh no, it's coming towards me, going the other way. Hell yeah. That is awesome, that's really cool. We have Harmonic Convergence, which is a buff, so let's pop that down there. And you can see the buff applying to our soldiers. Really cool. So as you can obviously tell, um, you know, normally you won't have infinite winds of magic in the campaign map. It's like a, a chargeable. And, you know, as a beginner, you won't be able to cast Harmonic Convergence. You won't be able to cast a lot of really good spells. Let's drop a Lightning Spell down as well. Yeah, that's did some okay damage. We have just a, a basic Lightning Bolt that we throw. That's really nice. And a good Wind Blast as well. Oh, and it knocks them over as well. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, I want to maybe drop, like, an ice spell. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that does good damage. Again, they are much weaker. But, hey, we'll take that. Uh, and another comment of Cassandora. Again, there is, like... Oh, baby. That was some serious, serious damage. Uh, okay, that is beautiful. Uh, okay, no more magic, I think, for now. No more magic for now. The guns are ripping them apart. You can already start to see the AI is actually crumbling. I mean, I, I would probably crumble as well if I was them, considering uh, considering the amount of damage I just did. Okay, and this stuff does some serious damage as well. It does a mix of uh, magic damage as well. It's physical and also magical, which is nice. 
Okay, let's make sure we don't die to a bunch of grave guard. Look at their banners as well. Oh my god, this mod is so beautiful. Seriously, I can never praise this enough. But yeah, magic is definitely going to be one of the strong uh, things in this mod. Again, keep in mind, I'm just spamming. You will not be able to do this. And it'll take you a long time to unlock all these spells as well. Um, there's no way you'll be able to cast like multiple cost, uh, comments of casting door you're gonna have to really bide your time and kind of just make sure to uh you know utilize it when you can oh getting hit over by the hex uh yeah the, the hex knight is not good make sure we block that we have to reform is the ai gonna like coming at me again with reinforcements i think so okay reform the line reform the line uh we'll get our guns up here a bit more our cavalry has been decimated uh which is a big problem yeah, cavalry has been decimated. Let's reform. Reform the line. And I will continue to spam out spells. <laughs> hey, have you guys heard of our Lord and Savior? Comet of Cassandra. You can also see there is like a decent range there as well uh, for where we drop it. Hello. Oh, I missed. I missed. Take that. I mean, again, he'll take way less damage from Magical because he's like ethereal. But still, uh, still pretty decent nonetheless. The Empire men are holding though. And they've obviously got reinforcements spawning in as well. Knock a few of these guys over. Oh, why did I just do that on my own line? I'm such a moron. I was like, oh yeah, this is the fun. Oh my god, it's coming for me as well. Oh my god, it's coming for me. Get down, get down, get down. Oh, that's really cool as well. I oh my god, I just killed so many of my men. That's nice as well. When you're buffing your units, it does a little nice little green outline showing you what units you are buffing as well. That's really nice. Uh, that's really nice. So yeah, these guys obviously got a bonus in their stats. Let's push on the enemy again. The main strength is going to come from our guns, and they're doing great against the ethereal. Look at that ethereal mount as well. Hold on. Sorry, what? That looks amazing. Oh my god, that is such a nice uh, effect on it. Oh god, this mod, man. This mod is incredible. The gun's are doing a great job at clearing them out. Uh, we just need to keep on pushing on. And of course, not dying. So let's just like maybe just use our lightning bolt for a little bit. We're doing good taking out the horses. Can I get one of these ethereal horses? can as well i can get on the ghost man cool i want to like go and 360 no scope and like oh 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 i hit him as well and got the kill okay i, mean, I didn't really 360 no scope i just rotated my camera but still that was pretty suave i'm not gonna lie oh my god i just did it again i just did it again okay okay i deserve that but now we're a demi group so that's even better uh, that is even better because now we can really get some damage in we're also holding a banner as well which is cool here we can couch our lance. The Demigriff mounts are obviously way tankier. Um, then a lot of the other, other units, like if I was on that horse, there's no way I'll go down as quick. And you can put that lance down and really get some good damage off of them. Yeah, look at that. We even managed to take like Calm Rape as well. Uh, we've probably pushed up our guns as well now and really drive the enemy into... The, uh, into the abyss. And look at that. Sigma is watching down. That is beautiful. The infantry pushing up as well. Bit by bit. Engaging the enemy. They're all like advancing in that shield wall though. Which does make my life a little bit harder. They're still able to take down many of them. Oh yeah. There you go. One, two. I mean it, the cavalry would be ideal. Because yeah. They have like 20 units of uh, horses left on either flank. Whereas we are subjugated to having way way less right now but the empty is the, the advantage we have yeah, get the guns like up here and that should be enough to finish them to be honest yeah their lines are just filtering in but look at them that effect that you're seeing kind of pop off a bunch of them like that right there is the crumbling effect so it just means their morale is really low and they are starting to fall down we just need to kind of wrap up these flanks and then yeah they'll just start slowly losing hp now, now I wish I had a fat Comet of Cassandora um, because this would be a juicy position to use that. Do you guys not think? That would be insane if I just pop one down. I might even dismount. Do we have a sword? I don't think we actually have a sword, but we could even pick one up um, and just start getting on foot. Leave the old Demigriff here uh, alive. Yeah, let's maybe dismount. Oh, we do have a sword. Can we, can we whip it out? I can't whip it out, though. Probably because of a flag. Maybe you have to drop the flag. Yeah, drop the banner. And then I can put out my sword. I can't. For whatever reason, I am stuck. Maybe if I try and pick something up. Oh, we just maybe stop throwing hands, you know. Put up our, put up our greaves. Pick up that sword. There's a sword right there. Pick up a shield. Oh, there you go. Then we can get a sword. There we go. I just have to pick something up. Probably the flag. 
causing the issues. Oh, these swords are brutal. Look at that damage. And yeah, now, I mean, we are super slow, though. I mean, we are probably some of the best armor in the game. But we are mega slow right now. Man, this is truly epic. And one of the really exciting things as well is, like, it would be incredible if we could get, like, some multiplayer matches going with this. Now we're starting to get uh, private servers and stuff. It would be crazy to host a multiplayer game between, like, the vampire accounts and the empire. Everybody gets to pick some classes. Oh, that'd be so goddamn cool. I'm not quite sure that modded servers are quite there yet, but you can actually import assets into them. But if you could, my god, that'd be cool. Because, you know, I'm, I'm friends with a bunch... Oh my god, the car race is killing each other. They must be spawning, like, really high up or something. Um, yeah, that'd be incredible, right? Like, being able to, to host, like, a match with just a bunch of Empire swords going up against... Like, there's so many amazing units in this, whether it's vampires, uh, beastmen, or, or whatever. Even against, like, a bunch of AI as well. That'd be so cool. Like, full invasion all over again. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, it doesn't look like the AI is slightly glitched out right now. Let's make sure we block that. And we are doing no damage to this guy. <laughs> 20 damage, actually pretty decent. But yeah, uh, that'd be amazing if that, if that is possible. And it will be possible. I'm not sure if it's possible right now. Uh, it probably requires a lot of work as well, which people don't have time for. Uh, but yeah, that'd be dope. I would, uh, I would dig that. And yeah, I mean, like a couple clans play on it. Oh, it'd, be, it'd be beautiful. Especially on all the maps. Oh, there's so many amazing maps in this mod as well. Oh, make it happen. Make multiplayer great again, please. Behold.